I like that our cinema is like 24 7, it's 3 a.m. and people are like, let's go watch a movie. Specialization. This is so complex, I love it. Sup guys, it's 10 Caution Idol Cinema Empire. I've been offline for 262 hours, but got rewards only for one hour. <laughs> That's actually pretty sad. So, uh, let's go into the game. The game itself is pretty interesting. Maybe we can upgrade it, by the way, I haven't checked. So anyway, I tried it, I thought it's generic game, but actually I liked it. There are some unique things to this idol game, unlike other managing tycoon games. What's this? Hello. No, I don't want to watch a video. Go away. No ads? Maybe. Plus 50%? No, thank you. <laughs> a lot of ads suggested, but I think I haven't seen any of those that are forced. So, the fun thing that here, other than upgrading the normal things like uh, getting additional counters here to get more people, all that crap, you can plan out your cinema movie schedule. There we go. I managed to figure out what I wanted to say. So, this thing... <sighs> Yeah, I haven't played this for a while and it's in a bad shape. So, yeah, you press here at the bottom and uh, you can get movies. In order to get the movie, you gotta open the gacha, but we got the free one. So let's get some free movies here. There we go. This is TE. We already have this one. Uh, so probably we can upgrade the movie. Oh, no, don't want to buy it. And we got one ticket for expert movies. So let's get this one as well. Some really good one, right? Should be really nice. Balloon travel with the house. Oh, I remember that one. Uh, so, okay. And once we get the movies, you can get them in the schedule. Those are dailies, right? Tasks, yeah. Here. So, um, how does it work? I really don't know. I haven't played it long enough. Uh, we have several auditoriums. Right now, we have only one available. And here we can put the movies for the different time zones, time schedules. So uh, let's add one for the evening, for the kids. Edit. Somewhere here, not available. This one. Over the bottom. Balloon travel. What time is it? Uh, it's too late for kids. Let's go here. Save all and bam, we got the new movie. So what I like that you can actually feed the movies here and... Uh, uh, make the proper movie schedule which was surprising to me now how the game works people are going into your cinema buying drinks snacks and that kind of stuff and then going into the auditorium to watch a movie so we got the time up here it's not the real time obviously it's moving too fast and when the time is right people will go and watch a movie so let's take a look how it's happening bam they are going in taking their seats Watching the movie, almost full by the way, that's actually pretty nice. And after that they will leave. So this is pretty fun, I wasn't expecting to see something like that complex. Look at that, they like it. They're like, ooh, nice. Uh, we can upgrade it by providing more seats, for example. Oh no, those are better seats. Ah, those are actual projector. Power cost, so we got the power, that's nice. I haven't played this game long enough to figure out. So... Uh, yeah, most upgrades here will just increase the ticket price, so it's all good. I think there are ways to make more seats, maybe maybe make a different auditorium, bigger one, I don't know. There we go, the movie is over and the guys are living happily ever after. We got the rating here as well, by the way, so we have to uh, be a better managers to do this. And we got the income here, which we can spend now for our own upgrade. And look at that, we got a lot of customers here. Let's make some seating for them so they won't be idling ring seat oh we just upgraded it we can't get the new one do you remember how we got the te movie we can level it up and that will increase the fare i think right i have no idea specialization this is so complex i love it i haven't seen anything as complex as this in those goddamn uh how they call the uh, idol games yeah <laughs> while we wait let's uh, figure out how the game works so we start here at the entrance we click on it we can upgrade the different thing that will give us more customers right now we have nine so we have the cinema plaza entrance uh that will give us customers then we got the bus stop drop off zone over here 
some kind of parking what's this billboard and other things so basically to get more customers we have to upgrade those so let's get this one and get more customers that will be a good idea more people the better right the next thing are ticket center we upgraded this one already so basically they sell you tickets pretty straightforward right you can get the actual human working here you can get the automation things and led what's that that will increase the income right no it will make it faster for people to book tickets okay that's cool so then we have the cinema hall here people are waiting for the next movie and chilling uh our, our overall capacity is 17 people here all right i'm curious what's our capacity here uh, there is no capacity here all right and then we got the food counter that's actually selling the snacks so we are getting additional income from those and getting more of those will be really nice for us but expensive stuff guys expensive we can get candy shell for additional income per customer but i don't think it's a good idea we get lines everywhere that's not good and after that obviously people are going into the auditorium to watch a movie which have the capacity of i have no idea so i'm not sure how many people will fit there we can count actually there are five people per row and four rows so it's like 20 20 people available for the cinema so this one have lower capacity than actual cinema so we need to get more seats and stuff here by the way during that time we bought another snacks center and it's pretty cool that we have no more movies today and people are still buying snacks so that food counter is actually giving us quite a good of income we can see what gave us what income by pressing here business report and we can see that trades and tips are giving us way more than auditorium so movies are secondary as always in the cinema and we can see the daily customers so overall we had we got 312 customers efficiency is 240 and customers in auditorium is 80 so we need to get more movies in order to get more money from the auditorium so let's uh, get one more movie and in order to get it we gotta either pay or watch an ad so yeah i will go watch an ad guy there we go so what do we get mr soy that's a mr bean <laughs> that's funny i like the names so let's get it we can get another one for free by watching the movie again but that's not the best idea oh we got it already so we can only upgrade it oh my god that sucks i thought it would be a new movie so let's see our fare is 65 upgrade 71 so yes more money per customer and yeah it seems that the game is pretty paid to win because right now i'm like uh what do i do now because i don't have enough money you can finish tasks though they will give you free stuff and uh, by doing the tasks like underground parking and cinema plaza uh, if we build that thing we will get one more a ticket for summons and we already got one from somewhere so we can get another movie like that easy and we got story of the fall i don't know this movie so yeah uh you can spend diamonds as well but i would uh, wait personally i would uh, get a higher tier movies but yeah let's place this one over here and this one over here something like that hopefully that will work so we get even more movies that means even more people will go to the cinema and won't be unhappy living just like those guys and yeah just like that your income will start increasing over time because you will be getting more and more stuff your people will be happier we will get the higher rating that will allow you to do more stuff because here you got so many things you can get the game room you can get the uh what's that food counter over here like a lot of buildings that you can make those are all for the auditorium so okay what do we have here game room number two i think there was bathroom somewhere as well vip lounge uh another game room so many game rooms what the hell equipment room so here you get the power that you need for all your facilities there was a toilet somewhere here ah there is bathroom that wasn't a game room that was a bathroom so all those things will increase your income and make people happier so yeah and honestly as you play the game you will get what 4 plus 8 12 plus 20 uh, 32 diamonds per day that's not that bad and daily sign-ins here for extra stuff so um 
a lot of options that you have to get it free to play just don't have to uh, to be in a hurry like i am always like always i'm in a hurry yeah so what do we need to build right now i like that our cinema is like 24 7 it's 3 a.m and people are like let's go watch a movie that's actually pretty funny so there is no day and night and yeah i played it a little bit and figured out how the movie works like basically it's simpler than i thought uh the fare is dependent on the quality and the level of the movie quality is like ABCD, whatever. Bonuses for the quality as well. And they get random auditorium bonus for which kind of hole they will be showed on. And it can be changed for diamonds. So if it's match, it gives you like 200% income. As simple as that. And yeah, I played it for 30 minutes right now. And I already upgraded my toilets a little bit. Something here, something there. So slowly making this a better place. Although, uh, I'm not sure if I feel comfortable about all those pop-ups here. This one, another one, no, thank you, go away. Remove ads, no, you gotta buy it, it won't leave. So, all those pop-ups over the screen are really, really annoying. And the main fact that pushed me away from the game is that the managers who are given offline time are only being paid with real money. And, like, I prefer to play idle games as idle games, preferably offline, not... Uh, letting them open or something like that but if you like this game if you can keep it open it might be actually pretty good so it's not that bad it's not that pay to win you can do everything if you keep it running in the background offline one hour is like nothing so that sucks the minimum for me for idle games is like maybe 8 to 12 hours something like that 24 hours is the best option so you can log in daily and get all the rewards but yeah, overall, like, what I really like about this game is the game mechanics, how it introduced these movies, movie schedule, all that stuff, so it's pretty nice. Moreover, by doing quests, you can get the free movies as well. We are about, actually, if we upgrade something, we can get another really cool movie right now. I already changed the movie schedule for more movies, so you can adjust it as you see fit, all that stuff. So it's really, really fun. So yeah, overall, my thoughts on this game, it's, the idea is good. It's different from other idle games. It's kind of the same, but it have its own touch, which is really cool. It's not, I think it's pretty pay to win down the road right now. It's kind of fun, but once you won't be able to get those diamonds, Ooh, you will have a long time getting the movies for all eight auditoriums. Can you imagine that? That would be horrible. Or maybe you can split those between those. I don't know. But for now, uh, it feels okay. For like first few hours, it feels totally free to play. A lot of ad offers, but you can skip on them. It's, it's, it's okay. And uh, yeah, it's fun and I like it. Honestly, I'm surprised that I like it, but it's true. So let me know what do you think about this game down below in the comments while you're going there. Don't forget to like the video and subscribe to the channel if you haven't yet. Make sure to check out the video description. We've got a bunch of links over there. Uh, LD player link, which will allow you to play Android games on the PC. Then you can keep it open 24-7, for example. My other YouTube channels, my Discord, social media, and playlists with other reviews and first impressions. Other than that, guys, thank you very much for watching. That's about it for now. Stan Kosh out. Have a good one. Bye.